Several civil society organizations have warned the Nigerian military against interfering in the ongoing NSAS protests across the country. They say the military has no business with quelling civil unrest. The groups add that the protesters are exercising their constitutional rights to make their voices heard while addressing newsmen in Abuja. Representatives of the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, asked the federal government to meet the demands of the youth by reforming the government. As we reject the repression of ongoing protests, we commend millions of Nigerian youth who have defied the odds to make their voices heard. This is just the beginning. As we stand with the youth of Nigeria who have taken leadership to demand accountability and a better Nigeria, the struggle has just begun. Police brutality in particular and the brutality of security, armed forces and law enforcement agents towards citizens in general is a fact and a reality that cannot be contradicted. In this respect, we strongly condemn the thinly veiled threat issued by the military high command, wherein the unacceptable move is being made to crush the peaceful protest. Such a threat is ill-conceived in the face of legitimate citizens' protest and a threat to constitutionally guaranteed rights. The military has no role, you know, in uh, uh, intervening in civil civilian, uh, uh, civilian matters. And there, uh, the state has not been overwhelmed. There has been no formal invitation from the part of civil authority to the military that we are overwhelmed, so come and join. And the military is playing a dangerous game. We all know every time the military has made this kind of statements uh, in the past, in our history, it has always res resulted into a coup d'etat. So, and we are saying that even the government itself should really watch uh, what its military is doing. We do not care what the military or the defense, what we are saying is we do not care what their statement is. Citizens' rights must be protected and we do not want to see an interference with the rights of citizens to protest either on the streets or on social media platforms. We want rights to be protected and we want citizens to freely demand for accountability in their own country. Nigeria belongs to all of us. Civilians have the right to freedom of expression. So the government must play its primary, primary responsibility, which is the security and the welfare of the people. So as, as protesters go out, the military and the government must protect them and not attack them. The level of intolerance you know, that we are experiencing should not be accommodated under democracy. Those who are sponsoring these um, people to come and, you know, uh, destabilize peaceful protests, they should, you know, stop that so that they do not undermine the fundamental right of those who express their concern over the bad governance, corruption, and all sorts of bad, you know, uh, things that are going on in the country, including insecurity.